Understanding the chain of infection allows healthcare professionals recognize ways to prevent transmission and spread of communicable disease. Infection control practices try to break these links. The first link is infectious agents called pathogens. The next link of infection transmission is reservoir. Think of reservoir as a holding tank for microorganisms. The next link is portal of exit. This is how microorganisms exit the reservoir. The next link is mode of transmission. This is how the pathogen comes in contact with the host. The next link is portal of entry. This provides the access or doorway into the host. The final link that completes the chain of infection is a susceptible host. Once again, standard-based precautions assume everybody's bodily fluids are infected. Transmission-based precautions are applied with actual infected clients. Another common question in the NCLEX is donning and duffing, or applying and removing personal protective equipment. Spend the time to really understand how microorganisms are transmitted, identifying your high-risk populations, implementing proper use of personal protective equipment, cohorting and sanitizing principles will prevent the destructive consequences of infection.